Now it's time to cut your cover boards. I like to lay down the board and then put my text block on the board in the corner and then draw around it. From there, I'll take a ruler and pencil and I'll measure in one fourth of an inch on the width. And then I will mark that line. And then you can cut it with a box cutter. You want to have the height about an eighth of an inch or two book boards width taller than the actual text block. So you'll mark that and then you can then you can cut it. Sand the rough edges of the boards. Now you need to measure your cover paper for your boards. What I like to do again is put it in the corner and I'll take my half inch brass strip along the edge to measure so I have a half an inch all the way around my boards and I'll mark that. And I'll also mark where the board is supposed to lay in the middle of the paper. And then you can cut it. Miter the corners using two pieces of book board to give you the distance between where the board is going to lay and the corners. Apply glue to your boards and then place it face down onto the paper. Smooth it down on both sides. Place your work on a clean piece of scrap paper or wax paper. Glue, fold, and rub down the side flaps of the board, working with opposite sides first. Tuck in the extra bit of paper at the corner with your thumbnail or a bone folder. Then add glue to the other sides and press down. Make sure you do this on all four corners. Let your cover dry under a brick while you finish the other cover. Take your cover and put it on your text block. Try to get an idea of how you want it to lay on the text block. And then take a pencil or some other implement like a white gel pen in this case because it's hard to see and then you can mark about a quarter of an inch away from the spine. Place a piece of waxed paper between the text block and the first page. Apply your paste to the page, making sure that you don't get that quarter of an inch next to the spine. I like to use nori or wheat paste because it dries more slowly and if you make a mistake, it's much, much more forgiving. Position your cover on the text block and press down. Open it up to see if you are happy with how it's laying. If not, you can make adjustments. When you're happy with it, 
smooth it down. Repeat the process on the other cover. Put wax paper between the inside covers on both sides, wrap it in waxed paper, and then put it under a brick or a weight. And you're done!